Congratulations, season three. Thank you so much. Okay, you do. Oh, and she has the accent. <laughs> this is so exciting. The captain of the Black Lightning family. Yeah. Talk to me about what we're going to see from you and your character in season three. You know, um, I don't know the specifics because we don't really get told that stuff and, and quite rightly, they shouldn't tell us because we're actors and we talk too <laughs> much. <lot>. Yeah. <laughs> um, but based on what's been happening last season, I think, you know, you're really going to see what Jennifer can do. And Jennifer, who plays my younger daughter, she's just discovered she's got her powers. Her powers are like next level compared to what Jefferson can do and she wants revenge and she wants to you know she wants to take some take some names so I think seeing her journey is going to be interesting she got that from her mom possibly possibly okay okay so shooting in Atlanta was this your first experience in Atlanta shooting season one and two and yep. what yep. has it been like and what's your new vision of my hometown well you know I moved here I live here now I did not know that. I am a ATL all the way. An official yeah. atl -ian. I'm an official atl -ian. yeah. Yeah, love your football team, <laughs> love your city, love the trees. Well, because obviously, as you can tell, I grew up in England. Yes. So I'm used to trees and seasons, mm -hmm. and we didn't really have that in L.A. Mm. So after 15 years of being in L.A., I was like, yeah, I like the way Atlanta feels. Yeah. I've we got my everyone. winter, I've got my spring, yeah. I've got my... And it's all in one day. It's amazing. It's like <laughs> freezing one day and then it's really hot the next confusing but um yeah and just lots of just brown people and amen to that yeah talk to me about being on the set and give yeah. me some anecdotes of just like what it's like to work with the cast and you know your your set family yeah. and one of the we most embarrassing things or craziest things you guys have done you know we we do have a lot of fun on the set and to be honest I play quite a serious character on the show so when I'm at work, I like to not be serious. <laughs> so generally, I like to goop around. Do you? Yeah, I really like to make people laugh um, <laughs> during really serious takes. I'm actually really unprofessional in that way. But here's the thing about me. I know, but here's the thing about me uh -huh. that I'm revealing is that I could be so unprofessional, but when that camera goes action, I'm Dr. Lynn Stewart. And I can go there. That's how good I am at my job. You go, girl. So we have a lot of fun. I like to tease people. I like to joke around. Um, we have a lot of great chemistry. But, you know. Of all the cities that you have shot in uh, for the show, where was the most exciting place or the place that you loved shooting the most? Atlanta. No, I mean, like, um, specifically, like, Norcross or Riverdale or Decatur or... Oh, it, wow. Like, small pockets, like, the pockets, oh, the neighborhoods. about this neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, the neighborhoods. Or maybe Woo! that's too much. Okay, well, um, let me think about that. <laughs> I mean, I just love it all. We do a lot of stuff downtown, because um, we do a lot of like, you know, jumping off buildings. Well, I don't jump off buildings, but Black Lightning does. So yeah, I mean, I'm just discovering Atlanta. I love it all. Love that. And my last question for you, what have you learned the most in your character with Black Lightning? What have you got out of this role that you did not come to Atlanta with? Oh my God, that's such a hard question. Because really the role has changed my life, you know? I mean, it brought me to Atlanta. I moved my entire family here. So, you know, and just the message of the show is so powerful. I think that's been the thing for me that's been so humbling is that when you tell stories, they matter to people, you know? And what you say is powerful and what you do is powerful. And I think that's, to me, the most profound thing about Black Lightning is that it was really reaching people, you know? Love it. Thank you Thank so you much, so Christine. Much.